All right, man. So I was just looking at r slash. Um, this is a Reddit thing. I was looking at r slash Xennials because sometimes they'll have like leads on like stuff that like be on DVD that that I'm like, oh shit, I could go see that and get their DVD and, and be happy with it. So they just had a thing like, what thing do you wish they had on physical media that's not on streaming service? Somebody was like the movie Kids. Why are you playing? Okay, so this was an art movie in the 90s. Like, I want to say it came out like 94, 95. It was, I was like either getting ready to be a senior or getting ready to be a junior. And I went to the movies to see this movie. Okay, so basically the premise of kids is it's these, it starts off with people kind of interviewing these teenagers, or no, they're interview. I don't know how it starts off because I kind of blocked most of this movie out. But basically, the premise is this: two girls go to get tested to see if they have any STIs. One girl is taking her sexuality for a test drive and has had intercourse, let's just say, with a lot of different people. The other girl only had intercourse with one person and turned out to be HIV positive. So. And, that, and she's only had intercourse one time with one boy and she has to now, her adventure is trying to find the boy to tell him that you kind of gave me HIV. So the boy's adventure is he likes sleeping with girls who have not had intercourse as of yet. And that's his whole shtick, that he wants to be... The one, let's just say, to plant his flag <laughs> in everybody who has not had intercourse yet. And that was his adventure. That he spends his and the entirety of his adventure in this movie trying to seduce and plant his flag in another untested water. Let's just, not untested, but you know what I mean. And, 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 and like a new pool of water that nobody's been into yet. So, this is these two people's adventures. The girl is going all around the city. I want to say it was New York. She's going all around asking people, have you seen Telly? And that's like the only name in this movie I remember. Have you seen Telly? Have you seen Telly? No one's seen Telly. She goes to a club. Somebody slips her basically, a, a, not a roofie, but like they kind of roofied her. And like, she's now delirious trying to find this boy. And the boy is meanwhile trying to seduce this girl. And basically, the boy accomplishes his goal, and yet again, someone else ending up in a bad STI situation. The girl finds the boy after he has accomplished his goal, or while he's accomplishing his goal. And since she's been roofy, she just sits down and just kind of like passes out because they're all at this weird house party. And like, um, and that's where all of this collides at this weird house party. So because she's been drugged, she kind of passes out. But then Telly's friend SAs her because he's drunk off his ass. She's been drugged. And this is what happens. And it's just like now that somebody else who has HIV or potentially contracting HIV. This movie is good it is very real for, especially for its time i went to the fucking movies to see this i saw that movie once it traumatized the shit out of me i ain't seen it again why the fuck somebody want to go see this movie or like oh let's go watch kids that is not a oh let's go watch this situation that is like i need counseling their whole situation And I'm thinking, like, maybe they want to see that to go scare some other children. Because I thought they would have to see that. Here's the fun thing about when I went to go see that. There was a group of children, because we were all teenagers at the time. I didn't know these people. They were behind me talking shit the whole time. The entire, the entirety of the movie till the last 10 minutes when that party scene goes down and all that tragedy occurs all at once. They didn't have shit to say after that. They left, like I left sad <laughs> they left out the theater like well damn so to the 
the very random person on Reddit on r slash Xennials who's out here trying to watch kids again. Some things are just best left in 1919, whatever the hell, because their movie is a tr is a trauma response situation in like. I don't want to see it again. I don't think you really want to see it again. Because it's a lot. Alright? If y'all find it, don't tell me. Don't tell me. They'll be like, oh no, they, they're playing it. No, 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 not listening. But if y'all, you if you find it and you watch it and you're having a trauma response, don't come whining to me. Because I did say some things are best left in 1990, whatever the hell.